Welcome to the podcast, where today's episode, Kanto mm-hmm. Convergence. Welcome to the Deep End, our captivated discussion series where we dive into the depths of the current Pokemon news and personal theories. And today, we are taking on the Kanto Starters with an idea from my co-host, Gurin. Hello, hello. What is up, everybody? It is the Gurin co-host. <laughs> Yeah, so like this, this this thought like just totally popped in my head one day, like just looking at Wiglet and uh, Toad Scroll. I thought, what if for Generation Ten or the 30th anniversary game, we're going back to Kanto, but not really? <laughs> and that idea of the basically Wiglet and Toad, the Toad Scroll line are basically considered convergent forms or original fakes. So what if this was the Pokemon Company's like testing grounds to see how we would react to them because the starters for Gen 10 might be Convergent Kanto Start. An interesting idea. Dun, dun, dun. To clarify to everyone that Convergent Forms, in my opinion, are exactly the same as Regional Fakes. Yeah, I think Actually, that's pretty much the general consensus. Yeah, I, he, I see a lot of argument with that. Yeah, this is a Regional Fake and they're literally the same thing. Regional Forms are completely different. Oh yeah, that, that, yeah, totally different. Yeah. yeah. I, honestly, I always looked at the convergent species as a form of, of mimicry, because there's like, yeah, there's this one snail that has evolved to have a tail that it can inflate and make it look like a snake's head so that mm. birds won't eat it, but it's yeah. still a snail. It's just, it's not a, you know, so it's not a reptile. Yeah. It's a, it's an, and yeah. so I, I kind of look at the same thing, because when you look at Wiglet, Wiglet looks like Diglet. Well, Wiglet's a yeah. water type, which is completely weak to electric attacks, whereas well, Diglett is totally immune to ground, so it's looking like a Diglett so that people won't use the electric attack on it thinking mm. that it's a Diglett. Yeah. It's an off-colored Diglett, you know? Yeah. Well, the Wiglet is based, it's designed based on the Gardener eel. Does it? Yeah. Does it? That's what it's based on. But I mean, when you think, when you look at between the 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 way they made it look, because they could have made it look more like a serpent, more like an eel, but they didn't. They chose specifically to look, make it look like a diglet. Yeah. And and it kind of, when you look at the similarities between those two, it kind of makes you wonder. Hmm. So they're kind of going for a thing. And I mean, what is Toad's cool? Grass ground type. Grass ground type. And now look at Pentacruel which is a water poison type. You you can see where now you've got the poison of the water typing that can take on that the, hey. the grass type. But now you also have, and again, you've got something that looks like a fish, like what we've yeah. traditionally known as, as the jellyfish, but it's now a plant. So again, is it mimicking tentacool and tentacruel line so that people might try to use electric attacks on it yeah. knowing that it's totally ineffective. You know, it's, it's one of those mm. interesting aspects that you, we've got to keep in mind when we're talking about these convergent species. Toad School has the best running animation in game, in my opinion. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Gurren, you came up with the idea of instead of getting the Kanto starters again, we're getting a convergent version of those starters. So, I mean, did you have any kind of an idea as far as, like, well, let's take it from the top, Bulbasaur, like, grass poison, what would be your ideal convergent combination? What would it be based on, if that's the case? Honestly, like, I didn't think too deeply about it. Like, I just thought, what if the the Kanto, or these, uh, you know, these uh, regional fakes got, like, the opposite typing treatment? So, like, like Bulbasaur is a grass type. So what if it becomes like a fire type or something like or a grass poison and it becomes like a fire something type i, I don't know fire psychic or something i, I don't know like I, I i was going for like the the typings that they were a week against ge- generally and then see how it goes from there because then like i thought that would be kind of cool right like we see like this fire frog because i don't think we have a fire frog thing yet i was i was thinking like if it was like a fire type bubble so like i, I i'm thinking like I'm seeing like gray ash or suit colored like Bulbasaur and like instead of like the bulb on its back it's kind of got like a uh, like a meg cargo thing it's just like molten rock or something on its back instead of like a or maybe something like a furnace that'd be kind of cool well I'm making another fire rock I also would not be opposed to that It's kind of a difficult thing to discuss because it's very different uh, with the concept of this type of subject of Pokemon because you have to 
think of if you say Blastoise or, or Bul you know Bulbasaur, Squ um, Squirtle, and and Charmander, you got to think out of the box. Like they they can't be like completely related to the same thing that they already are. So because Charmander is a lizard, right? And let's just base it off. Maybe hmm, I would like to see all yokai related things. So maybe it could like be based off a kappa or something. That would be interesting. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Like a kappa. I mean, we already have kappa Pokemon. Ludicolo? Yeah, Ludicolo is. Yeah, that line. No, Let's have like a like a like a like a kappa version of Bulbasaur. It has a complete different name and it is a water like not a water grass. Let's make it like water steel or something. That would be interesting. Ooh, that would be yeah. actually that'd be a different thing. Yeah, yeah. more water steel types, please. Yeah. <laughs> See, for me, I was thinking about it, and since Bulbasaur is both a reptile and plant at the same time, mm. my thought process for regional for regional convergence species would be something along the lines of maybe fossilized plants, so like a ground mm. rock type instead of being a poison grass type in the same respects that your wiglet and diglet have that similar look but the different their their weaknesses almost parallel each other to an extent the same thing applies here so what is venusaur weak to you you've got it's a grass poison type which means it's gonna take damage from fire it's gonna take damage from psychic it's you know um it's gonna take damage from flying however being a ground rock type because it's the fossilized version of it uh it's a fossilized species as opposed to one that's currently around it's gonna have that resistance to fire it's gonna have that resistance to flying yeah. um however unlike venusaur it's gonna be really weak against water you know so yeah. so it kind of they kind of mirror that same way similar look but because of the fossilization process and it, it, it would fall in line with all of the uh, previous uh, dinosaur Pokemon yeah. that we've had in the past. They've been rock something, you know? We'll move on to Blastoise. Blastoise. So I guess in my case, I was thinking, like, this time it would be a grass type. And then I was thinking, like, land turtle thing or, like, the world turtle thing. But then it's like, we kind of have, like, Torterra for that already. Yeah. But then again, it probably wouldn't be that much of a bad idea, or, or actually, hmm, I, I, I don't have it like a, a strictly like great idea, but like I'm, I'm thinking like maybe it would, we, maybe we can have it delve more into like the war turtle tail cut kind of ass. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> you can have like the fur, uh, fuzzy tail, you know? Yeah, that's interesting. Could be like vines or something, maybe, instead of like the fuzzy tail. Oh yeah, maybe it could just be like vines. I don't know. I'm just thinking of like a very like moss mossy colored portal you know it's just like <laughs> pure grass type or maybe it could be grass rock or something oh grass rock actually uh, might not be bad either i'm gonna make them all rock types yeah, yeah. <laughs> my one would be very unique because squirtle is a tortoise and you know i was like why don't you make that as a kappa like no it's a turtle so it can't be related to anything that already has a shell so i was thinking maybe have a look at the yokai um, aspect again. How about a cat blast um, squirtle? He said Blastoise for some reason. Huh. So yeah, maybe a cat lookalike of of Squirtle, which would be kind of cute without the shell. No shell. Make it a normal ghost type. Have it like running around in the air like a cat, like a ghost, like Squirtle cat thing, which is kind of interesting. Really? And. It's and give it like, like maybe, obviously have features of Blast uh, Squirtle because you can tell you've got to know it looks like to like Squirtle, but you know without the shell and have it like maybe give it cat ears, give it more of like a bushier, big puffier tail, uh, make it a normal ghost, which would be very interesting. Give it two tails as well based on the Necromata, which would be interesting. Which is the same thing with um, Espeon. Oh, yeah. That's my concept of, of um, convergent form or regional fake uh, squirt. Hey, I like that. I like Make me want to draw these now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, for me, like, I got to thinking, what other species 
in the real world mirrors turtles and tortoises, which is what, you know, Blastoise is. Uh -huh. And we haven't gotten, and I don't think we have, have we ever gotten an armadillo type Pokemon? Uh -huh. Um, the closest I would assume it'd just be like Sand True, honestly. Like yeah. That, that's the first thing that pops in my mind. Yeah. That'd be the closest. Like, I don't think we've actually seen like an actual true to form armadillo the way, a... the way, you know, we would normally see like, Pokemon likes to mirror a lot of animals yeah. in a very similar aspect, but Sandshrew and Sandslash, although yeah, they are they they are kind of like they, armadillos. They don't look like your traditional armadillos. Not like Blastoise. They're more like pa they're pangolin. That's what they're based off. Yeah, yeah, pangolin. Yeah. Oh. pangolin. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, exactly. So I mean, I would think I would I would kind of go with an armadillo as opposed to a uh, a turtle, but it looks very uh. similar as far as the shape goes. Because again, yeah, even 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 uh, Wiglet or Wub Trio has a different look than. Doug Trio, even though Wiglet looks almost identical to Diglet. Yeah. So in this case, it would kind of be the same, the same aspect where as it evolves up, you're going to start seeing those very distinct differences. Um, and as far as typing goes, again, just flipping the script on it a little bit, um, make it grass. Or honestly, you could even follow that up with an electric type just to just for fun. Yeah, it's like a proper Pokemon that does that needs to write like co like consume into a ball, you know, like an armadillo does. Yeah, we haven't had anything like that besides Sandshrew, but they're based off of pangolins, which do kind of do the same thing. They roll up into a into a into a donut shape instead of a ball shape, you know. We're looking up armadillos themselves. They can be found in grasslands and forests, in semi deserts. They don't like the cold, and they're excellent diggers. So in all honesty, I'd probably go with the grass ground type for this particular Pokemon. Yeah. Um, if I was to go with that kind of a regional convergent species. But I mean, that's that's just kind of like my brain where it went. Just because, again, I'm trying to keep in theme with what uh, the Pokemon company's established with. I mean, I, I'd love to get some others', other, others takes on these as well. Um, so yeah. you know, with that said, if you're enjoying the episode, please let us know. Comment down below. Be sure to share, like, subscribe. Give us your thoughts. We, I, you know, I go through all the comments and respond to just about all of them. So believe me, I, I'm I'm always looking to hear what other people want to see in 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 the future games as far as the convergent species thing goes. Especially if that's your thing, you know, if that's your go-to, you want to see some old mods come back in new ways. That's a great way of doing it. But I guess we'll round out with uh, Charizard. <laughs> our yeah. our what is it? What, what overhyped fire lizard? But you know what? He's my number one. He's my boy. While I don't have anything specifically for Charizard, which but I think it can kind of meld into it later. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna continue sticking with the rock thing that I've been going on. So in this case, this one's gonna be like a water rock type. I feel like. I mean, I mean, for for my personal thing, what what got me thinking was you were at first you were talking about the armadillo thing, and then I was thinking about hmm armadillo, and then there's that creature. And then like, so basically what I'm thinking of is like, we turn this this regional fake Charmander into a Final Fantasy Carbuncle. So like, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna have like the, the floppy or, or like, you know, the, the Carbuncle ears it's kind of got, right? Like just, I'm think I'm imagining it like streaming downwards from Charmander's head or whatever. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna have like that bluish color, right? Cause you know, water type, or it could be white too. I think white, white with like some shades of blue, I think would also be or, or vice versa. And then like, it's got like the gem on its head, right? And then, so like, I'm thinking the fire tail is, fire tail could also be maybe like a gem on top of it instead of like fire to it. It'd be kind of cool. Or it could just be a regular tail. But okay. that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know. I, I guess maybe when it evolves into like the Charizard or, you know, <laughs> the Charizard form, maybe it'll just like sprout wings or something. And then, you know, give us a little bit more options for like some more special attacking rock moves. You know, I can't just use power gem my entire life or ancient power. It's a, it's not. All the best. <laughs> I mean, ancient power is good because of like the boost it can give you, but it's still a chance. Uh -huh. And I think rock, uh, and I think power gem is not as strong or not as accurate. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. It's just very basic. <laughs> so with my Charmander, I was thinking maybe it could be like an ice type. It'll be based off a yokai called a the Nue. The Nue is a yokai with, with it's like semi. It's got fur. It's got a monkey face. It's got tiger legs, and it's got a lizard tail. 
which is very bizarre. And how about this Pokemon would be named Munkaranda or something like that, you know? Give it like an ice ice um, fighting type or something like that, which would be very interesting. Ah, that's kind of unique. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I'm thinking of But like obviously the... make it look like Charmander, of course. You can't like put a monkey face on it and like, oh, that's not Charmander, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but give it features that resemble like a balance between two things you know but obviously it can't be completely charmander because it's not charmander in the first place yeah, mm. but like i've heard of that new way creature from stuff because I, I also play like a lot of persona so like i know uh, one of the demons that you can summon in that game it's and... got a snake tail that's right it's got a yeah. snake tail yeah it's got the snake tail it's got the tiger stuff that you're talking about it, yeah. it's kind of like a like a chimera kind of thing. Yeah, right? it does, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A manticore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, I, I got to thinking about what I would want to see as a uh, convergent Charizard. And Boom. for me, I just reach back into mythology. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I reach back into European mythology of Boom. dragons, of actual dragons. Because Charizard, you know, again, I consider it a dragon even though it does not have the dragon typing. And we kind of got snubbed once they removed the mega evolution aspects away and we lost the dragon typing. But what if we had a dark dragon type Charizard, mm. you know, to mimic the actual lore of what Charizard looks like, you know, when we look at his form and his figure, a lot of that is very reminiscent to the European version depictions of, uh, of what dragons look like. Yeah. And so to not have that be a dragon was always always rubbed me the wrong way and because they're usually depicted as as evil or at the very yeah at the very least chaotic i think the dark typing would be well suited to that as well and Good. i mean in this case we're going completely against the grain of what we had you know what i had talked about earlier where you're looking at some of the parallels for weaknesses and strengths in this case we're going more towards toad's cool and toad yeah. and tenta tentacles depiction of it looks like this other species but it is a species unto itself with its own typing and everything it you know doesn't have anything other than just the look of it which in all honesty would kind of mean if you look at it dragon types tend to resist um fire and water and electricity which are things that charizard is actually weak against and so in this case charizard would actually end up being the quote unquote convergent species but we've not discovered the actual source species you know what i mean yeah yeah, I get it. Yeah. So and kinda it kinda works in reverse in this makes case. Makes sense. Yeah. It makes more sense in that way, yeah. Because basically a, European dragons are depicted as the devil incarnate, basically. Yeah. And yeah. They are and, evil creatures, you know, the story of the what you know, the Welsh dragon and, and the, the Saxons and that and all that. It's sort of good history, interesting history. Yeah, I, I mean that was one of the things I was fascinated as a kid, so so of course seeing Charizard on the cover of the game. I'm like, yoink. <laughs> it was an auto yoink. Definite. And with that said, brings our episode to a close. Thank you, Suba, for joining us today. Been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. And as always, have a wonderful day. Bye. Toodaloo.